right, and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Life, and this is... John Murphy! Yeah, and we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. Let me get that off your chest now. Oh, that's better. That's better. Oh, welcome back to all you wine lovers. Uh, Novices and experts. We're getting quite a few experts talking to us online now. Oh, so fabulous, really, fabulous. I mean, this channel wasn't originally intended for experts because uh, we no. were actually sort of doing it as an introduction for people, but we are delighted to learn from you guys. Delighted to learn. So, indeed. as we said in the introduction, this is Pinot Noir. It is Pinot Noir, John, yeah. <laughs> we said you can chill this one because it's from Chile. I'm terribly sorry, I'm terribly sorry, but he's correct, yeah, all Chilean, Chilean Pinot Noirs. So, the first, <laughs> the first of the bunch. Yes, um, number one, I believe yours is just behind you. Thank you, and it's the uh, bottle you'll see on John's right, your left, the left of your the screen. Um, yes, I believe uh, number one is Aldi. Is it? Is it. No, it's not, is it? I no, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yes. Aldi, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty yes. sure it is. So, yeah. now, the Aldi wines we've had, as we have had some amazing Aldi wines yes. um, of, over the course of uh, the videos. So, let's give this one a go. I mean, just, I'm just willy-nilly really just uh, rolling around the glass yeah. there, but I'm not really paying attention, but that is... It's all in the wrist. Stop it. You've got to be careful it doesn't spill over the side when you do it. <coughs> You're very true, very true. Now that, that for me, you see, I mean, you can see very clean, straight, straight through there, but it does have, a, for me, a, a touch of a tawny colour about it. Yeah. It's not quite a bright and ruby. Only a hint, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, right, so let's have a go on the nose. Okay. Would you say that's a typical Pinot Yes, Noir very much yeah? so. The, it's, it's quite obvious when you do smell that. Easy, mate. Just exactly. No, it, it, it is quite... You, you know it. it is I, because know, I, I bet if I, I, I... I know it now you've told it, but I bet if I smelt that blind, then I'd go... I'd struggle. I wouldn't You'd have to think. Yeah. But then we always say, you don't think what it is, think what it's not. not. So you go yeah. through that and... I think, I think that would stand out. It has that kind of... I would say that kind of rotting... Vegetable, yes, woodyness about it, but then this yeah, does introduce forest floor smell. Yeah, and it's nice, so and mm. it it yeah. doesn't it doesn't sound nice, and I know we've said this a million times, but I think it's when you mention rotting. Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not that's, the best word to describe a wine, is well, it? That's quite exciting for deers, isn't it? What? Well, hang on. Oh no, is that rooting or something? That's I'm gonna, you know, what? I'm I'm just gonna drink my wine. That's all you can do in this situation. <coughs> so the nose, typical. Pinot Noir, but with, with the, there is some kind of dark cherry right on the end there, which it, this that makes it more intriguing. Yeah. So I'm gonna get stuck in. Oh, good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Very nice. It's not very oily. It's very quite light viscosity. Yeah, yeah. If that's the correct word. Yeah, it's very light. Viscosity doesn't sound the right word in the wine industry. I bet. I bet there's a posh word for it. More than likely, I don't know it though. Mm. Thin. Thin. Thin, but then that sounds negative, doesn't it? it? It does, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, especially on a wine such as this, because on the light Pinot Noirs, you'd expect them to be thin. Yeah. Mm. When you say thin, to me, that also means like it's thin on flavour as well. Yeah, I suppose it does have that. Connotation. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll have to start. Yeah. We'll see if we can find a better word then for the viscosity. Yes. Uh, we've got experts now. Oh, we have. They can tell us. Yeah. yeah. Thank right. you very much. Yeah, email us. Girls. Thank you very much. Yes. But back to the uh, wine. <laughs> we are. For me, it's quite stereotypical again. It doesn't branch off wildly. No? It's on the lighter side. Are all Pinot Noirs lighter? Or can you get varying degrees? You can vary in degrees, yeah. You can get yeah. some bigger Pinot Noirs okay. that really do kind of quite beast it. And you, and you know when you've had one of those. Who knows? We might have one today. We, who knows? We, we don't know. No. But... No, it's not, it's not. The tannins are good in there. The length, it's not the, the longest length I've ever. Um, <laughs> half a glass in, John. Half a glass in. Give, give it until the third glass. And then we go. <laughs> right, um, I'll rephrase that then. Um, and I don't know how. I have to t tread carefully here. Yeah, that's not. Um, 
No, oh, I can't. It's nice, light, easy. Yeah. It's stereotypical Pinot Noir. It's not nice, doesn't branch off into any massive flavours. Um, it's, it's a definite style and one that I don't think is unnice for one moment. But now we're playing this the other way around this time because I know the price and you don't. Right, but I do know it comes from Audi. You do? So I believe that's going to make it quite competitive. We have seen wines in Audi as low as £4.50. Um, but that, I think that tends to be their exquisite range. This isn't from their exquisite range. Okay. Um, so I'm bumping it up a bit because of that. I'm going to put this at 5 50 Okay, okay. Well, that's a, it's, it's not a bad guess. Um, you, you did far better than I would have because this is, I know it's not their exquisite rate, but if memory serves, this is actually 4 59 Really? 4 59 Wow. Which, which really, really does affect when, now when you say that. For a Pinot Noir of that standard, that is very, very good. Yeah. For four pounds fifty-nine. Yeah. That's pr pretty excellent. It's, yeah, it's an excellent, excellent mm. value for money. So as a, but then the, now we, obviously that's going to affect the score. Not that we give it one before, but if what would your score be now? Um, well, I think that my score previously, because I think it, it's it's refreshing. It's it's not as you said, it's not sort of deep and lots of complexity, but it is a really nice taste. So just mm. just based on that, so I think I'd go for seventy-eight. And but at the price, you know, if you want to take the price into consider value for money, I'd bump that up to eighty-two. I think that I think that's very good. I think I'd probably stick with you um, all, all the way down the line. There, I'd probably my I, I'd just go from seventy-six and then to eighty. I'd okay. do that, but only only ever so slightly because that that your tongue is so much more experienced than mine. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say that, John. You can't say that. I'm not on this channel. But no, it's, I don't, it, it, it's nice and that price really amazes me. But I, 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 even then, 80, there's very few wines which I'll go over 80 on, which and they have to be outstanding for me. Very, very good. Very good value for money. Excellent one might say. But not outstanding for me personally in that okay. respect. But okay. still, yeah. if they can do that at £4.59. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you wonder where where they make the money at it, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's it's brilliant, very nice indeed. What you, you have to say, probably one of the, one of the best value for for money wines we've uh, we've had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could drink a lot of that. Yeah, so could I. Mm. All right then. So okay, on to number two. Number two from another establishment in the UK, another supermarket. We'll try that one. Yes, let's let's. We'll see you there. See you part two. Chin chin. Chin chin.